Congressman from Florida, Aaron Bean, who is in Nassau County, Florida. That's just north of Jacksonville. Congressman, thank you for uh, being patient with us. Obviously, now there are confirmed deaths. There's five where Governor DeSantis is. The Volusia County Sheriff says three people, maybe two more in St. Pete. The numbers are kind of slowly coming together. So tragic that we have a loss of life. Tell us what you're dealing with specifically in that region. Tornadoes were uh, a big issue down near Port St. Lucie. What is Nassau County looking at for a cleanup? Uh, thank you, Bianca. It's great to be with you. Uh, so I'm in thank Northeast you, Florida, the, the greater Jacksonville area, Clay County, Nassau County, Duval County. And uh, we're counting our blessings. We're counting our blessings because uh, we largely dodged a lot of the major damage that we're seeing in Southwest Florida. Uh, however, for your viewers, we need to let everybody know sometimes after the storm can be also extremely dangerous as well. People that have uh, generators and the fumes and falling off ladders and tree limbs and uh, electrical lines. So we're still not out of the woods yet. Northeast Florida and most of uh, our state has high tides that are still going yeah. to be coming later on this afternoon. In past storms, we've seen the storm leave and thinking we're in the clear only to have massive uh, amounts of water come in. So not out of the woods yet, Excellent counting point. our blessings and uh, praying for uh, everybody that's just been affected by the storm. Absolutely. Excellent points there. Four million people are still without uh, power. Uh, we know 45 tornadoes touched down, pretty unusual for the state of Florida. And as you mentioned, if people go out to assess, there could be down power lines, very, very dangerous. Um, and the, the crews need to get out and work, so they need to be on the roads. Congressman Bean, you know this story has become political, and it really was sort of at... Kamala Harris's words that where it was initiated. Ron DeSantis just gave, you know, a pretty long news conference, not reading off a teleprompter, not really right. bringing politics into it. Yet Joe Biden has come out yesterday with Kamala on a, you know, big Zoom. We know Deanne Criswell at Biden's request was down. The administrator of FEMA was down in Florida. What do you take on how the Democrats are injecting a bit of politics here over perhaps the people of Florida? It's a shame. No, it is a shame. I listened to the president's comments uh, yesterday and to take time when people are suffering and, and to bash President Trump. And uh, of course, they blame everything on uh, President Trump. But what DeSantis is doing, Governor DeSantis, I haven't spoken to him and I just want to congratulate him and his team. Let me tell you the formula, the formula, leaving politics uh, out of it. But uh, emergency management, A, we should focus on Americans and we should focus on the mission, but emergency preparation, emer emergency management should be locally executed, state managed and federally supported with strong doses of preparation and communication. Mm. And that's the DeSantis formula. We've seen that. We've been prepared. He's brought in fuel, 50,000 linemen that are ready and prepared. Uh, that's the, that's, right. uh, that's we saw the those formula. guys. Yeah. Leave politics out of it. Joe Biden, shame on you for uh, taking a moment to trash President Trump during uh, President Trump during this. Uh, it's, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It shouldn't happen. Yeah, multiple times during the day and then later tonight, uh, yesterday at one o'clock, Joe Biden's expected to make more comments. Um, our prayers, our thoughts are with uh, those who tragically lost loved ones. Congressman Aaron Bean, we know there's a huge cleanup underway there, north and northeast, uh, you know, part of the state. Keep us updated, sir, and I thank you for joining us today as you survey a lot of the damage left by Milton.